minutes to the gentleman from Georgia is now recognized. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank my friend for yielding. Mr. Speaker, I rise to oppose this bill. As elected representatives, we have a mission, an obligation, and a mandate to fight for each and every American. I ask you, Mr. Speaker, who will stand for the American people, who will speak up for those who have been left out and left behind. Mr. Speaker, I've said it time and time again, health care is a right. It is not a privilege reserved for a wealthy few. For what does it profit this body to pass this bill and lose our soul? This bill is a shame. It is a disgrace. Mr. Speaker, today my heart breaks for the disabled, for women, for senior and working families. My heart aches for those who are living paycheck to paycheck. My heart mourns for innocent little children whose very lives depend on if their family can pay the bills. This is the right and wrong of it. This is the heart and soul of the matter. We cannot abandon our principles. Mr. Speaker, we cannot forget our values. Have fought too hard and too long to back down now. I will fight any bill that turn the clock back to a darker time. I will fight every single attempt to turn a deaf ear, a blind eye, and a cold shoulder to the sick, to our seniors, and to working families. Mr. Speaker, I will fight every day, every hour, every minute, and every second. I oppose this bill with every breath and every bone in my body. We must not give up. We cannot. I will not give in. Not today, not tomorrow, and never, ever. On this bill, there's only one option, and that option is to vote no. We can do better. Mr. Speaker, we must do better. Vote no on this bill. Time has expired. The gentleman from...